Well, it's dark and it's dry. And it's Saturday the 16th of November, 2019. Oh, 6.43 hours. I was going to say, but it's Obviously not. You may be able to see last year's Christmas tree. Spoons put up their Christmas tree on, what was it, 13th Wednesday? And although I'm not very festive, I'm feeling Christmassy. I'm going to Panath. There's the odd spot in the air, but it's mainly dry. Slightly nippy though. Arrived in Panath. There's a slight breeze, it's chilly, it's dry, and it's all gone very festive in the bear's head. Jungle. And we're off, although I'm slightly late. It's 17 minutes past nine, and I was doing the Saturday wrap, which you should see by the time you're watching this, unless things go badly wrong, um, on YouTube. This is, and it's Christmassy, um, original porter, 12 days. It's called, and it's by Hook Norton, 5.5% alcohol by volume. You can just see a Christmas tree over there. Anyway, carpet for Mr. Manning, although I'm sure he's seen it before. And, oh, it's quite cool. Hmm. I'm getting a sort of rich barrel maybe a hint of rum in Not bad. B plus and a bit. I'm going to say 3.2. Alcohol's quite well hidden, although it has that complex, and I'm sure it tastes of something, but I can't recognise it because I'm a bit scared of food. Um, unless chips. And I'm burbling. So yeah, 3.2, B plus and a bit. Um, 12 days by Hop Norton. Let's start the debate about a big foamy head. I mean, still not bad head, nicely sized head, but it was foamy over the top and down the side. Outside lacings. Anyway, this is White Adder by Maldens. 5.3% alcohol by volume. East Anglia, Harry Country. Had it before. Let's see if I can get the same. Well, sometimes they change the recipe. Or, well, it's come from East Anglia. Mm. Rich, fruity. A little bit sweet. B plus and a bit. Mm. Quite sweet. Quite bittersweet in the finish, actually. Running massively behind schedule. I don't care. This will be good. When in Crafty Devil, drink Crafty Devil. This is a Raspberry Beret. I don't know where the name from. Anyway, 3.8% alcohol by volume. Tart Raspberry Milkshake Beer. Good in Cardiff. Drunk in Panama. I'm in the back this time. Where they have a projector and a screen. Wales are the one. Mm, Wales being Azerbaijan tonight, 5 o'clock. Local. Mm, smells acidic, smells fruity, smells sour. Can you smell sour? Oh, gently tart. Not particularly sour. Bit of sweet. I'm going to say B plus plus. 3.6. Real wood, Mr. Manny. And a bar wood. The schedule's gone completely to pot. Anyway, this is Remedy. 4.8% alcohol by volume. It's a postman from these people. Crafty Gallo Buco from um, Cardiff. However, this is a seller in command. I'm not sure about the aroma, but then I think I'm developing a cold. Mmm! Malty, bitter, hint of spice. B plus in a bit. 
3.3. Apparently so. Here we go. There's snooker on the TV, the Northern Ireland Open. Anyway, this is a Big River. Delta Bitter by Melwood Beer, 4.5%. Alcohol by volume. Unkind and unfiltered. Why do you fall in Mr. Mallon? Malty, fruity, hint of bitterness. B plus in a bit. 3.2. And here we are. Quantock Brewery. They were from my neck of the woods last week. In fact, when I was in the beer cell, I saw one of their reps. This is Will's Neck, a late hot golden ale. So it says 4.3% alcohol by volume, which is just as well because I'm getting sleepy. Let's have a little. Mm, a bit fruity on the nose. Sweet, malty. Get it on the finish. B plus in a bit. 3.3. Green lines. 